Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to craft with me today and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and I've been seeing lots of Christmas in July projects lately and I wanted to join in and do some Christmas projects here on my channel. So this one here is a one page wonder. It's a little pocket flip book so you could stick some small flat gifts inside and it's just a four by six size. I added some trim down the side there and a little tag that says happy holidays and a little twine bow as well. And the paper I used, by the way, is from the Christmas Adventure paper pad here from the Paper Boutique. And I purchased this a while ago from orientaltrading.com. And I'm going to use that same paper pad for today as well. But let's flip through this. So on the inside, I chose to do two little angled pockets. I made this little to and from label on the front too. So in here, I just have a tag. It says warm wishes and a sparkly red bow. And then a cute polar bear over here with a hat and a scarf. I just love that little sticker. And just a journaling card here that says sleigh bells. And over on this side, I just stuck a journaling card over here. It says believe. And there's a Santa sticker, but it's kind of just halfway on this portion here. This is kind of like a little envelope in the back. I have some trim going down the side too. So you can flip that open and stick some items inside. And I just stuck this little greeting card that says letters to Santa. I just love this. I think this is from Target last year. And that's everything for this little flip book. So you got a cute little envelope back there and then some pockets to put some goodies. So go ahead and grab one sheet of 12 by 12 paper to create this one sheet wonder together. I'm going to be using this print today. This is 12 by 12 and I'm just going to cut this in half horizontally. So I'm going to flip it and cut it down to six. So I have one 12 by six and another 12 by six there. We're just going to take one of those and I'm going to flip mine over to the blank side and we're just going to hold it at the 12 inch side and let me grab my sticky here. We're going to score at half an inch, four and a half and eight and a half. So here is my half inch, four and a half and eight and a half. And I'm pretty much going to fold this side and this little piece inwards. So we can start by doing that. And then we can go ahead and just fold along this score line. And that just folds everything in half. So this is going to be our front cover and it'll open like this. Now we're just going to set this piece to the side and we are going to grab our other half, our other 12 by six. And this one, we are actually going to cut down to 10 by six. So this piece here is 10 by six, and then we'll have this extra little scrap that's two by six. We wanna just put this to the side. We are gonna use that, but let's go ahead and just line up our paper here at the 10 inch side. And we are going to score here at three and a half and seven and a half. Thank you. 
like this. So this smaller section here, I'm actually going to fold this way. And I just want to bring my other sheet back here just to show you how we're going to assemble it. So this little section is going to get glued right here to this blank panel as a pocket. So it's going to look like this. And then there's one more score line over here that we're just going to fold back this way. Like that. So this is where I got my two angled pockets. And then that's going to flip and this will be a pocket. So I'm actually just going to glue that down now. And just place that onto this panel here. And we just want to make sure everything can close nicely over top. So kind of just push everything together. Okay, and now for this little half inch tab, we're gonna just bring back our extra sheet here, the two by six, and we're gonna glue it over top and that's gonna be our lid. And I think I am gonna corner round just these corners. <laughs> and then I'll just pop some glue here and place this piece over top. That'll be our little envelope there. And then if this bothers you, of course, you can just take another two by six and glue it onto the back. Or you can do what I did and just pop a piece of ribbon or trim over that crease or that line. <laughs> and then you can also bring it around to the front, which would be super cute. But there's our little envelope in the back. And then you do have options here in the front. You could just keep these as they are and have flip out pages. You could do a pocket or like a tuck spot on one page and have one flip out page or vice versa. So it's up to you, but I'm just going to do the same layout and angle my pockets here. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to open this up and then try to bring these two pieces or two panels together and I'll just cut them at an angle this way. And I guess I'll just run them through my paper trimmer really quick. Like that. So that they can be semi even. And then I'm just gonna glue down the bottom Bring that over. Same thing over here. And bring that over. So that's pretty much it for the flip book. So I think this is pretty quick and easy to do if you want to mass make some of these for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. I think I'm just going to add this sticker. It says Merry and Bright Christmas. I don't know. I was going to put it like right over 
the ornament there, maybe with some foam tape. Kind of do something like this. And I love that little penguin down there. What else? Maybe I'll bring some more of this trim. And add it to one of my sides here. And I'm just going to use my tacky glue for this. Just because I feel like it sticks on easier and quicker with the tacky glue. All right, so I'll just place a strand of this on. And I absolutely love this trim. It's probably one of my favorites to use for the holidays. This was from Target. I can't even remember. Maybe a year ago or a few years ago. Okay. So there's that. And then it doesn't really even cover up the pretty print on the front. It just adds a little sparkle. So I'm going to move on to the inside. And pretty much you can fill this up with anything. Anything you want to give to someone. If you have crafty friends, obviously the tags and the journaling cards are fun to stick inside. So things like that, maybe little sticker sheets or little small ephemera packs. If you're giving this to kids or something, temporary tattoos are really cute and fun to include. And they're nice and flat too. So you could do something like that. You could even just put a small little greeting card in here. Maybe some smaller photos. Obviously, you can do things like gift cards. Like in this back envelope. Maybe two. Stacked like that would be cute. Or even some tea bags. These could probably get a little bulky, but it will still close up. What else can you put in here? Maybe some seed packets. I like to collect my seeds even during the winter time because sometimes you start seeds inside. So you never know. You could give some seed packets in the winter time. You can also make your own DIY coupons that you want to give to somebody, like a hot cocoa date. They could cash this in for a hot cocoa date with you or a cozy Christmas movie night. I really love that one. Well, I mean, I love both of these, so you could just make your own little tickets or something like that and stick them in there to gift to somebody. You could put recipes, poems. Really, there are a lot of ideas. I'm sure you guys have tons of other ideas as well. Maybe I'll just leave these in here. But another idea I had was to stick these nail wraps. And there are tons of different brands with these kinds of things, but they're pretty much just like stickers almost for your nails. And they're nice and flat. So you could stick something like this in here and maybe add like a single nail file or something that could get a little bulky and this one is a bit tall but you know you could do something like that maybe put a mini one inside i don't know but just to throw out some ideas there so i think that i will probably just do a little bit more decorating in here and I'm probably going to make my own 
to and from label again. So I'll just do something like this. And then glue this scrap over top. to and from and I'm going to stick that over here all right moving along you could even just stick a photo on this side too but I'm just gonna glue this journaling card down and I added a sticker to the top. I wish you a Merry Christmas. So you can have a little bit of writing space there or you could even just put a greeting card too. I think I already mentioned that, but you could put one in the envelope here in the back. I guess I will cover this up and I'm just going to use some of this trim here just to cover up that line there. I know that will bother some of you. All right, just cut off that little excess. Okay, I could bring it over to the front too. Should I? I mean, that would be cute too. I'm just gonna leave this for now. And then I didn't even really put a closure on my lid here. <laughs> But you could you could do like a velcro dot or something like that or even if you just grab a sticker or something and like glue it halfway onto your lid and then you could put a velcro dot or something on this portion that would be cool too so i think that's going to complete this little flip book here now again you can decorate as much as you want or just do something simple like me you could if you have single-sided paper you could cover up the backgrounds here like the white space if you wanted to but you know just to keep it a one-page wonder here i think it comes out cute no matter what so i hope that you guys enjoyed this project today in this christmas theme don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you very soon in my next video. So happy crafting and huge hugs to all of you.